You know, if I knew the lyrics to the girl from Ipanema, I would say, hey, Marathon Mondays, live and direct from the mothership. We are going to be showing you a custom coach, Coach 1360 this morning. Stick with us because this is a rare opportunity to go inside and look at a custom coach. That's why I'm wearing this Hawaiian shirt. I took it out of the boutique. This is the Marathon custom Hawaiian shirt, the Steve Shellhorn line. I love it. Here's the deal. We got permission from the owner. The owner asked, asked us to jump in here and show off their new coach. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna show you 1360, an extremely custom coach. Look at this paint job, John. Take some time to really get into this paint job while I get ready to show you guys inside. This coach is just awesome. Very, very custom. Brand new Marathon X3. And here's another thing, you guys. If you have questions throughout this show, throw your questions at us right now. Abigail is with us. We're gonna be going through this coach, through the floor plan, and all the unique items in this coach. Man, too cool. All right, we're gonna go inside. I'm gonna leave my phone out here. I'm gonna leave my phone here. We got the Hawaiian. We gotta go shoes off in here because this coach is going to deliver later this week. <clears throat> oh, you know what? This also gives me the opportunity to show off my Father's Day socks. Hope everyone had a good Father's Day. Look at that. My wife got me a refreshed pair with the kids on them. I love it, I love it. Every year I get a, a pair with the kids on it over the last four years. So we're going socks off. This is a cool coach, so brace yourself. Stick with this, it's brilliant. Come on in, John, I'm gonna let you. Don't show them necessarily too much yet. Come turn around and, and let's look just left. So here we are in 1360, and one of the things I wanna point out before we really get into the guts of this coach and really show you how beautiful this coach is, this coach, along with the new owners who customized it, worked with Brenda Kraft. Brenda Kraft, who's been with Marathon for several years, has moved on to a new opportunity, and we wish her well and miss her already dearly. And I just wanted to acknowledge her because this coach, uh, Santara and I were talking about it earlier, uh, Brenda went out with a bang on this coach. This is an amazing coach and what a lot of work, but a lot of like really rewarding work went into this by Brenda. So uh, to, to Brenda Kraft, who worked for Marathon for several years and built uh, and designed so many coaches with so many people, um, you, you did great on this one. As, as we knew you would, it's such a home run. Um, but you will be missed and, and uh, thought of uh, quite often here at Marathon. And so let's get into the coach. Okay, Tiki-inspired mid-century modern Coach 1360. The first thing I want to show you, how awesome is that? There is a hula girl, and she's not anchored down yet, but there is a hula on the dash. If you know the history of hula girls from Hawaii on the dashboard, it actually started before World War II, but caught a lot of... Uh, momentum after World War II with a lot of soldiers coming in and out of Hawaii. Uh, they started putting um, a little bit of Hawaii on their dashboards when they were would come back to the States. And then of course the California culture took over the, ho the uh, hula girl uh, bobble on the dash. That's a little bit of history which basically caught um, started after World War II or during World War II. Um, take a look at I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have you get in up here, John, and take a look at the co-pilot seat. The upholstery on these is absolutely incredible. I hope we don't have Wi-Fi issues during this. If we do, you guys, just stick with us. Okay. Yeah, it just has to do with where we are in the building. Um, but anyway... What a, I love the upholstery that is in Coach 1360. Lots of cool things. We're gonna work our way through the coach. Uh, of course, there's a TV over the cockpit and this pull-out TV that is in the slide-out on the driver's side. Jackknifing sofa over here um, on the driver's side. But look at all the natural light and I've got the valances and the styles lit up so you can see that beautiful fabric and pattern 
Yeah, good shot, John. Too cool. I love it when those are lit up. And remember, those are dimmable. At the end of the show, I'm going to turn all the lights off and just turn on some accent lighting so you can see it. Uh, everybody who knows who me knows that I really love tiki culture and that I love that mid-century modern. Um, and as Brenda would love to see me do, I'm going to put that pillow down properly with a chop in the middle. Anyway, this has a lot of mid-century modern and a lot of tiki culture throughout, so I hope you catch it. Not just, not just with the decor, but the floor is just a beautiful bamboo. Look at that floor. A big congratulations and thanks to the new owners of this coach who worked over the last year uh, with Brenda customizing this coach and with Mark Williams. I believe he's the uh, lead engineer on this project. But, um, you know, it's a very personal thing. These, the people who own and customize this coach, this is not their first marathon. It's not their, it's not their first coach. So they know what they like and they know what they wanted to see in a new marathon. Um, Booth Dinette. You guys know I love the Booth Dinette. Uh, one of the things I want to point out about that is take a look at the pockets, that uh, the storage pockets that are on the sides. It's really cool because it's, a, it's, it's just a slot to store something. But it's space utilization. There's a little bit of space here. And so you've got a pocket that's about that. It's about three and a half inches deep. And you can put anything from an iPad to whatever else in there. Beautiful decor. I love this fabric that's on the uh, seat backs in here. And of course, leather on the seating. All right. This is really cool. I love this from a decor standpoint. These tiki glasses in the setup. You know what? I have not looked at the sink. Let's look at the sink because this is a unique setup. Gosh, that's cool double sink both of these are equally sized with a separation in the middle and if you take a look this is what a custom marathon is all about look at the size of this galley this is larger than the standard galley that we do in an x3 look at how much room is on here this is this is marathon engineering this is what this is what custom builders do Marathon is the best at custom building a, a coach on the Prevo chassis. And I think you will see that that is, that's what we do. That's what we do. The customer came in and said, I want more area in, the, in my galley. And that's uh, definitely more room than usual. Lots of cabinetry. This is also really cool. It's kind of, it's, it's so simple that it's, that it's awesome. Because all it really is, you guys, is a insert for your garbage can. It just holds the garbage can in place, and it's a sanitary way to get the garbage out and in because you've got a little handle right here. And as you heard that, it locks into place. Too cool. Let's, let's snoop around in here, John. Oh, wow. Look at how big that is. Beautiful design on these uppers. Marathon cabinetry, I don't have to tell you what I think about marathon cabinetry. It's, it's, it's a reason that it is the bottleneck of our production floor. Because doing the laminate, you have to do it right. And we do it right. We finish every, every area off. Even unexposed areas that aren't seen when you open a cabinetry. They are finished. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And storage above. Too cool. Lots of drawers. You've got eight drawers over here. Then you've got cabinet, drawer, dishwasher, more storage, and then the large push push pull storage. This galley's awesome. Look at the colors. John, I'm going to have you get close up on this backsplash. Because from a distance, it might show, it's just, 
it's it's greens. Oh, it's beautiful. It. Yeah, absolutely. Now, one more thing I want to, if you have questions, don't forget to throw them my way, but I want to show you one thing I've talked about many times on this show is if you don't have a backsplash, you've got natural light coming in. If you do have a backsplash, it cuts off your natural light. This galley has both. Look at all the natural light that's going to come in from this window and you still have this right here, this accent of backsplash which is where you would be cooking so you you can clean off this tile very easily because your burner tops are right here. It's just so well thought out. And you've got the best of both worlds. You've got this beautiful tile as a backsplash that's very cleanable, especially where you're cooking, but also over this huge sink, all that natural light coming in. It's too cool. Abigail, before we move in to the rest of the coach, are there any questions that we want to throw? Also, John, I love the ceiling. You guys have seen this ceiling before, but this ceiling is like perfect in this coach. Yeah, um, we do have one question uh, from Ron Mario, our friend, um, says, when you hear someone say, buy your last coach first, mm. how easy or hard is it for someone to have that perfect coach customized? That's really hard. That's a good question. Uh, that is kind of a buzz term or a buzz phrase in the industry. Buy your first, your, your last coach first. Yeah. So uh, what that refers to is uh, only buying one coach. It's, you know, the thing is, when you live in these coaches or you experience them for weeks or, or months at a time, you learn the things you like, you learn the things you don't like. And the only way to truly do that research, you can't watch YouTube videos like this. You can't, you can't, you know, go and go to all of the shows and look at everything to truly experience it. You know, to truly get it down, you've got to live in these things. You've got to drive them. You've got to use them. You've got to watch a movie in them. You've got to make dinner in them. You've got to wash the dishes in them. You've got to live in these coaches to truly know what works for you and what doesn't work for you. And the most important thing I said there is works for you because what works for you might not work for the next guy. Some people might want an L-shaped dinette. Some people might want an outward facing dinette. Some might want this style, a booth dinette. It, it's what it's what best works for you. Some people might think, oh, I, you know, I'd like to have all the natural light, but then they, then they experience the coach and they understand how hard it is to clean windows if you do a lot of cooking. Some people don't do a lot of cooking. So you've got this backsplash here, that which is easily cleaned versus the window, but in this coach, you've got both. Wanna know why? Because the owners prefer that and the owners are experienced enough to say, this is what works for us. So what a great question, Ron. A good friend of our show, Ronnie D. That is a great question. Let's move into, ah, look at that beautiful artwork. I love it. And these are really great too. Man, Brenda Craft, home run. Sub-Zero fridge, you guys. Sub-Zero refrigerator and dual freezer at the bottom. Ice machine at the very bottom. Too cool. All right. Let's move our way into the midship. Hope we don't have any Wi-Fi issues in here. But um, it's, it's the nature of where we are in this building. And, and keep in mind, we're also in a fully welded cage, which is the Prevo chassis. All right. Um, throw some more questions at us. If you've got any questions about this coach or other coaches or, or lifestyle, you know, Abigail's going to go through those and look at them. Um, okay. Like I said, when you're, when you're looking at a coach, if you're an experienced, you know what works for you. Look at these towel bars on the outside of the glass. That's what works for these people who customize this coach. They know what works because they're currently in a marathon. Too cool. That's a big shower too. John, I'm gonna 
have you come through here and open up that and take a look. And tell me that backlit feature Turn on the shower lights there for you. That's cool. That sh that shower feature works perfectly in this coach. And that is lit. And if I hit the button, it goes off, back on. But it's also dimmable. If I hold that on, see that's bright. And then I hold it. And it dims down, but it's still on. And then it's off, back on. And if I hold it, boom, bright. Cool, huh? Very nice. Very, very nice. Beautiful shower. And it's large. I like the size of it. All right. I'm going to let John pivot around and show you guys the water closet. I like how the hardwood floor runs right up the side of the wall there where that ledge is. The wall covering in here is absolutely perfect for this coach. This coach is truly a masterpiece. I like the backsplash in here too. Okay, into the bedroom. Look at this, look at this occasional sink over here. It's, it's large, it's got all of the fixtures that you would need. Man, the storage in here is incredible. I love these poles too. You know, you don't want to overlook all the details. Look at these poles. It's very nice. All right, I've got a few really nice features that I like in this bedroom. My favorite thing that I like in here are the sconce lights. Take a look at the sconce lights, John, that are on each side of the bed. Very mid-century modern, cone shape. Aren't those cool? Man, absolutely beautiful. Now, here's another thing about engineering. We used to have the audio visual in our X3 back here taking up space in the closet. It's now been moved. It's now been reorganized to be under this bed. Speaking of the bed, take a look at that bedspread. Is that not the coolest thing? Very mid-century modern, also tiki enthused. Totally cool. I love the storage up here. You guys have seen that header. But take a look at this closet. John, I'm going to have you come all the way across if you can. Because the audio visual was moved out, look at all of the storage that's achieved. Look at that. Totally cool. Look at the size of this closet. I'm going to jump up in here, John. Hanger bars here, there. I can even get back into this area here. Man. So you got full-size hanger here. You've got shirt hanger here. You've got four and a half feet-ish up here of hanger bar. It's just a lot of room in this X3 floor plan. I'm going to send a special shout out to, well, quite frankly, my boss, Mike LeBrosser. Happy birthday to him. I know he's with his family celebrating his birthday, and I think he's watching this morning. So a big happy birthday to the boss. A lot of you out there who are marathon owners know Michael and know what he does for marathon and the support that he gives all of us in sales. Here's another shirt closet. Look at this, John. Another shirt closet. Look at all this storage. Storage above, below the bed. Man. It's just a really nice coach. The decor is great. You got the birds of paradise flowers over here. That TV, the installation on that TV, let's not overlook that. That's really, really nice. And that is a, that is a very large TV. A good friend of Marathon's, Greg Kimball, is watching. Hope he's doing well in retirement. Come back. We miss you. Greg Kimball, one of the very 
talented people that worked for Marathon for many decades. I just noticed that he's watching. Look at this tiki. Is this a car? Who is this guy? Look at this. This is actual wood carved. That's really cool. You know, the decor is a big part of putting a coach together. That's a big part of uh, what Brenda Kraft did on this. And every coach that's done, whether it be an Alan Christensen, a Santara Perkins, or a Brenda Kraft coach, you know, a lot of work goes into acquiring the simplest things and the, the most, you know, this fabric, the artwork, you know, that carved tiki, you know, they are constantly over the time that they are building this coach looking as soon as they get that feeling of from the owners of what they would like to see they start acquiring items and it's all set up these tiki glasses are just too cool i love this coach uh any other questions uh, abigail yes we actually just got one um and i had a feeling we were going to get this question oh because, john's got you on camera uh, I, love I know it. hello um <laughs> Gosh, I look like a like a newscaster, don't I? Um, and now so, the news. <laughs> <laughs> now the news. Jake breaks welding. Um, asks where are where is the washer and dryer at? Oh, is there a washer dryer? That's a darn it? good question. Yeah. I don't think there's a washer dryer in this coach, and I think that's because the owners didn't want it. I don't think they need it, and that's very typical. In, in this coach, or in a lot of coaches, we don't see um, some washer dryers getting installed because some people don't, they do their washing um, in, a, in a different facility. So um, because this is a custom coach, it, it wasn't needed uh, by the owners, and so we're not doing it. I mean, they still have like a ton of storage in here. So if yeah. they really wanted to come back and put it in, they have the space you're absolutely right. somewhere. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Um, all right, uh, someone, let me go back. We're scrolling back up and finding the other question. Yes, Ken Smithers says, with all the slides in all the other coaches, can you point out the advantages of a Prevo slide and how they work and why they work so well? Okay, so that's a show all into itself. Who gave us that question? Was it Ken? Ken Smithers, yes. Okay, great question. We're going to do uh, an, an individual show on that. We've done it before, but what I'd like to do is show you guys uh, on the Marathon Monday Watchers exactly what the benefits of these huge slide outs are and how quickly these slides go in and out. Now, there's a difference. There's two slides, there's three slides, and there's, of course, quad slides. In an X3, you're only gonna get two slides. That's just a Prevo engineering thing. So I'm actually standing in a slide out right now, um, and that is a, a, that is a great question and a show all in itself. So we will go over that and I will show you guys. Thank you for uh, throwing that question because that gives me another idea. <laughs> Inspiration. Inspiration. I like it. Anything else? Yeah. Um, people are just going at it right now. Let's um, do it. So someone asked, uh, I, I think I'll do one before the other because one requires us to go back outside. Um, it says, uh, Jake Breaks Welding again says, uh, what size TV is in the bedroom? Do you know? So I think it's, I think it's a 50. Yeah. It's, it, it's quite large. It might be a 55. That's a good question. When I look at it, um, it's, it's larger than the 50. So I believe it's a 55 and looking at the cabinetry back there and X, the X3 is set up for that large area back there. So across from the bed, I believe it's probably a 55. If I had to make a guess, good question, Jake, hope you're doing well, buddy. And then Brad Barnes says, did they do anything special in the base? Yes. Brad Barnes. Hello, Brad. How are you? Also a marathon owner. Let's go outside and show these bays. I love the hula girl on the dash. All right. Great question from Brad Barnes, also a marathon owner. So there right there is a slide out tray. And I am gonna try and find where we can, here it is right here. You see right here? Come, come close in here, John, and I'll show you. Right there is your control. 
And if I rocker it out, the slide out trays come right out. And because this is a custom coach, because this was custom ordered darn near a year ago, we did the slide out trays. Isn't that beautiful? So this is one of those things where it helps in packing, it helps in unpacking. And you've got these two bagged items right here that you see. I'm not gonna open them, but I'm gonna tell you what they are because it's kind of cool. These are the extensions and the leaf insert for the booth dinette. So you can extend those out to have space for additional seating in that booth dinette in there. Um, also, just standard items, everything from all the manuals that go in a marathon, the owner's manual, which is important, but also one of the things that Marathon is uh, starting to do on new coaches is the owner's manual is going to be on all of the iPads, the Crestron controls that's inside the coach and also in the bay. So you're able to um, not just have this hard copy or you can leave this in your storage facility at home and, and access the owner's manual directly on the iPad, which is really cool. But yeah, I love having the ability to pull this in and out. It helps with storage. It helps with um, organizing. So that you're not getting in and out and reaching and saves the back. Let's see what's in bay two. I don't even know what's in here. Nothing except storage. I believe the generator is on the other side, meaning the driver's side. We are currently on the curb side. So you've got storage here also with the ladder. This is gonna be your entertainment bay. That is a big TV too. So you got a TV that comes and swings out, plus you've got iPad controls right here. And you want, to, you want to talk about engineering? Come take a look at this, John. It doesn't even get seen because a TV is in front of it. But take a look at how beautiful that other side of the plumbing bay is. It looks like a wine cooler, doesn't it? But it's actually where your filters are. Look at the fit and finish that's behind the TV. Everything is well thought out. Lots of experience in our engineering department. And that's just one example. And I think you've seen several examples on this show. Bay 3 Entertainment Bay. What a great question. Thank you, Brad Barnes, uh, for throwing that at us because it's always important to show the bays if we can. And on this custom coach, we were able to do it. All right. Is that Hi. it? Are we it? Yeah, um, just, just a couple things. First off, people are really loving this coach. Sure. It's a gorgeous coach. Um, Steve Lopez. We had a great comment where um, Ron DeMario now said, I love how the bay doors all line up when opened. So even though they're all opened, they're still lined up beautifully. Straight lines all going together. He's, he's right. I mean, we do this show. This is what, <clears throat> episode 275, John? We do this show so much, every Monday, we don't miss it without fail, and I just love doing it. But I, I don't want to overlook the details because these coaches aesthetically are absolutely beautiful. You know, I've been around Bernie V's coach, which is 1291, one of the most custom coaches we've ever built as a company. And aesthetically, it's like every time I'm around that coach, um, whether it's down in the desert or up in Polson, I, it's just there's so much detail to it, and, and that's, that was also a custom coach. And then you look at this, the uniqueness of this paint job, the uniqueness of the build inside. And Ron brings up a very good point. When those doors are up, you've got the, you've got the patio lights down here, which not only help with you know, being able to see at night, but also they look cool. But look at, you're right. Look at the three doors as they are up. Why 
The Prevo X3 is stunning. All that stainless. It's just really cool. Real quick, Mal, what year is this coach? Because Jake Briggs Welding asked again. Uh, this is a 2023, I believe. 22. It's a 22 or a 23, I'm not sure. It's new, N-E-W. <laughs> 2000 new. <Yeah. laughs> Also, I just want to quickly point out, there's been a couple of questions that I think would be better to ask you through email, talking yeah. about production schedule um, and just how custom coaches work. So yeah, if you absolutely. Want to throw out your email. Thank you, Abigail. Uh, Mal W, M-A-L-W at MarathonCoach.com is my email. And if you're looking to get into a coach, uh, we, we do have some options for you right now. Those options are constantly changing. Um, over the coming weeks, I'm going to be showing you some consignments. Uh, we, we're getting a, a brand new, uh, to us, I say brand new, we're getting a 2020 Jackson Hole Floor Plan Super Bath Quad Slide in on consignment. An amazing coach. So check back for that. But if you're looking for a quad, I've got your quad for you. Late model. Uh, if you're looking to customize a new coach, Email me. Let's talk about it. Let's get into it and find out what our schedule is like. It's quite a bit out, but as you can see, a lot goes into it. So that process is eaten up. That time, that calendar is eaten up by... That gave me a chance to show my watch. Did you see that? Yeah, yeah, Bam. That. Okay, so here's the deal. It's eaten up by all of, the, all of the planning, all of the research, all of the work with engineering and working with Alan Christensen or Santara Perkins or on this coach with Brenda Kraft. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a fun, fun process. I think you can see that the uh, new owners of this spent a lot of time planning and working towards it. And so a big thank you to them for showing us uh, or allowing us to show this coach because it's truly beautiful. Um, and what a, what a great couple. And uh, I, I, I love Tiki and I love mid-century modern and I know my wife does too so it, it, that's why I threw on this uh, shell horn edition Hawaiian shirt today and it's, it was a thrill to show you guys and uh, like I said earlier episode 275 it never gets old thank you so much for supporting this show thank you so much for supporting Marathon and a big thank you to Marathon all of the employees and, and management for allowing us to do this show and bring it every single Monday to you to show you what's going on at Marathon and help you in that process of why you would choose Marathon. I'm gonna tell you, Florida, Texas, and Oregon. All coaches are built in Oregon, but we have a great infrastructure from Florida, Texas, and here in Oregon. We are the largest converter of the Prevo chassis in the world. And if you don't know, you need to be notified. Be yourself and do good things. I hope you have a good, uh, a good Monday. I hope all those fathers out there that are doing what they need to be doing had a good Father's Day this weekend. Um, it's Juneteenth, so take care of each other. Be safe. And, uh, yeah, if you're in Las Vegas, have fun and be safe. I'm going to get out of here. Abigail, thank you so much for being with me today. John, thank you for uh, following us around. And... Uh, I'm going to close this coach down because the owners are going to come in here and going to look at it again today. Take care, everybody.